Hello, key first graders and families, and welcome to your next Virtual Foundations Level 1 lesson. In this lesson, we will be introducing new concepts from Unit 10. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Lauren Gerald, and I am Key's reading specialist and reading teacher leader. I'm excited to work with you all today, so let's go over a few things before we get started. In today's lesson, there will be opportunities to practice some writing, so please have a paper and something to write with ready. You could also use a whiteboard and whiteboard marker if you happen to have one. Last, when you see this stop symbol, that means I'd like you to stop the video so that you can write or spell on your paper or whiteboard. You might be wondering, what are we going to practice in this video today? Today, we will be learning about words with two sets of blends, like in the words slump, twist, and plant. We'll be reviewing suffix s, and we'll also be practicing some vowel team sounds, like in the words toe, soup, and saw. And we'll also be practicing some trick words. Let's get started with a warm up. In a moment, I'm going to show you some keyword sound cards. I'll say the letter keyword sound, and I'd like you to repeat me. Ready? Here we go. C H chin ch. E R her er. A apple a. Ah. Q U queen qu. A M ham am. E ed e. Eh. A R car R. X fox x. U N G lung ung. I N K pink ink. D dog. Next, let's review what a vowel team is. A vowel team is two vowels stuck together that make one sound. Remembering these vowel teams will help us when we're reading. Here are the vowel teams we practiced in our last video. Let's practice the letter keyword sound for some more vowel teams. Today, we'll just be practicing the sound since we have a lot to cover in this video. Some of these new vowel teams have two sounds they make, so we will practice them twice. Try to remember these sounds when you see these vowel teams when you're reading. Here we go. O A boat O. O E toe O. O W snow O. O W plow. Ow. O U soup oo. O U trout ow. O O school oo. O O book a. Uh. U E blue oo. U E rescue you. E W chew oo. A U August ah. A W saw ah. Now let's do a little review before we move on. Let's review consonants. Remember consonants are on yellow cards, like the letters B, N, K, W, and Z, and they are each one sound. Can you think of any other letters that are consonants?
digraphs are two letters together that make one sound. Remember those are WH, SH, CH, TH, and CK. Vowels are on pink cards and there are only five of them. A, E, I, O, and U. Remember they are special because every word in the English language has at least one vowel. Don't forget vowels are also special because they each have two types of sounds, a short sound and a long sound. In our last video, we learned what a consonant blend is. Remember, a consonant blend is two consonants together that make two separate sounds. Let me show you some examples. In the first word, I see two consonants next to each other, S and T, and they each make a sound, S and T. So this is a consonant blend. I can tap this word out to see that it says stop. stop. How many sounds does the word stop have? Right, it has four sounds. Let's look at the next word. I can tap this word out to see that it says p -s -t, pest. Do you see the two consonants right next to each other? That's right, it's S and T next to each other again, and they are each making a separate sound, so this is a consonant blend. Notice that a blend can come at the beginning or at the end of a word. How many sounds does the word pest have? Great, four sounds again. Here's our last example. I can tap this word out to see that it says sh -a -p, shop. I see two consonants next to each other, S and H, but I know S and H together make one sound, sh. So this is not a consonant blend, it's a digraph. How many sounds does the word shop have? Fantastic, shop has three sounds, sh-a-p. This was tricky because it has four letters but only three sounds. Now we're going to review what a digraph blend is from our last video. A digraph blend is a digraph plus one consonant together. Let me show you two examples. In the word shred, I see a digraph, sh, next to the consonant r. So this is a digraph blend. Let's look at the word bench. This time I see ch at the end of the word and the consonant n right next to it. So this is another digraph blend. Today, we are going to practice words with five sounds, which means that we are going to be making words with more than one digraph blend or consonant blend. Here's your first example. I can tap this word out to see that it says s o e p t slept. If I run out of fingers when I'm tapping, I just go back to my first finger. In this word, there is a consonant blend at the beginning and at the end. S and L are a consonant blend and P and T are a consonant blend. Let's look at another example. I can tap this word out to see that it says sh, er, i, m, p, shrimp. Can you tell me the letters that are the digraph blend? Right, sh and r make up the digraph blend. Can you tell me the letters that make up the consonant blend in this word? Yep. M and P make up the consonant blend at the end. Here's your last example. Let's tap it out to see what it says. Sh, er, ank, shrank. Does this word have a digraph blend or a consonant blend at the beginning? Exactly, it has a digraph blend at the beginning, made up of SH and R. Here's a tricky question for you. What letters make up the consonant blend at the end of this word? Right, N and K make up the consonant blend at the end. 
That was tricky because those letters are part of a glued sound. Even though they're in a glued sound, they still make separate sounds, so they're still a blend. Let's give you a chance to practice. Make sure you have that pencil and paper or whiteboard nearby. In a moment, I'd like you to match these word parts to make some real words and write them on your paper or whiteboard. After you write them, if you'd like a challenge, try underlining the blends and digraph blends like I did. Remember, a consonant blend is when two consonants are next to each other and they make two separate sounds. And a digraph blend is a digraph next to a consonant. Press stop so you can make the words and press play when you are ready to continue. Great job! Here are the words that I came up with. Next, let's review suffix s. First, what is a suffix? A suffix is a word part that can be just one letter or a few letters that comes at the end of a base word and changes the word's meaning. A base word is just the word that we're adding the suffix to. Let's look at a couple examples. Here, I have the word cat, which means just one cat. But if I add a suffix s on the end, now it says cats, and it means more than one. So I could have two, three, or even more cats. I can mark this up by underlining the base word cat and circling the suffix s. Here's another example. This is the word plant and it's being used as an action, like in the sentence, in the spring, I plant flowers. But if I put a suffix s on the end of this word, now I'm talking about the action of another person, and I can say, in the spring, she plants flowers. So it changes the word's meaning to say an action that someone else does rather than what I do. And again, I can mark this up by underlining the base word and circling the suffix. Can you tell me what word is the base word here? Right, the word plant is the base word. Remember, that's the word we're adding the suffix to. Now let's practice tapping out some words with two sets of consonant blends or digraph blends in them. In a moment, I'll put a word on the screen for you, then pause a moment so you can tap and read it. Ready? Here's your first word. Great job. You should have said p -l -a -m -p plump. There are two sets of blends in this word. Can you tell me what letters make up the blends? Right, P and L and M and P make two different blends in this word. Plump means something that is pleasantly chubby, like this little cartoon dog. Let's try another one. I will build a word and then pause for a few seconds so that you can tap out and read it. Great, you should have said p, r, i, n, Print, prints. When we tap out a word with a suffix s, we should always tap the base word and read the base word, then add the suffix. Can you tell me what the base word is for this word? That's right. The base word is print and the suffix is suffix s. My mom prints pictures after she takes them. Here's your next word. Nice job. You should have said ch, i, l, chill, chills. Sometimes we say we get the chills when it's really cold outside. Can you tell me what word is the base word? Right, chill is the base word here, and we have a suffix s.
Here's your next word. Awesome work. You should have said j er ank drank. This morning, I drank my coffee very fast. Does this word have a suffix? No, this one doesn't have a suffix. Nice job. This word does have two sets of blends, though. Can you tell me what letters make up the blends? Great job. D and R make up the first blend, and N and K make up the second blend. Remember, even though N and K are part of a glued sound, they are still making separate sounds, so they're still a blend. Here's our last word. Awesome work. You should have said flag, flag, flags. Does this word mean one flag or more than one flag? Right, the suffix s means that there is more than one flag. Now, I'm good at going to put some words on the screen and give you a few seconds to read them. After you read them, I will read them again so you can check yourself. Pause the video if you need more time. Great, you should have said crisp, drums, next, drink, clocks, and shrubs. Now, I'm wondering if you can tell me a word on the screen that has a base word and suffix. If you said drums, clocks, or shrubs, nice work. These words all have a suffix s. Can you tell me a word that has a blend at the end of a word? If you said crisp, drink, or next, great job. These words all have blends at the end. Now we're going to practice some trick words. I will flash some trick words on the screen and give you a few seconds to read each word. I will then read the words again so that you can check yourself. Ready? Here we go. Any, many. See your. Say each. How now down. Very into. Out about hour. Between. Here are some of the trick words we just practiced. Can you use one or more of them in a sentence? Pause the video so you can tell someone near you a sentence with one or more of these words and press play when you are ready to continue. Great job. Here's the sentence I came up with. How about we go down to the basement to play? All right, friends, we're getting into the spelling portion of our lesson today. So make sure you have those papers or whiteboards ready. Remember, when you see the stop symbol, that means I'd like you to stop to write down the letters or words that we're practicing. Here we go. First, we're going to practice writing some sounds. I'll say a sound and then you repeat the sound. After that, you'll write it down and I'll reveal the correct answer. Ready? Here we go. I say it, you say it. Ong. Pause and write the letter or letters that say ong. Press play when you're ready to continue. Fantastic! The letters that say ong are ong. That's one of our glued sounds. I say it, you say it. Uh. Pause and write the letter or letters that say uh, press play when you're ready to continue. Good for you. The letter that says uh is 
you. I say it, you say it. Wah. Pause and write the two ways to make the sound wah. Nice work. The two ways to make the sound wah are W and WH. I say it, you say it. Ang. Pause and write the letter or letters that say ang. Press play when you're ready to continue. Great job. The letters that say ang are A and G. Now we're going to practice writing some words. Just as before, I'll say the word and you repeat the word. After that, pause the video so that you can tap out and spell the word. Here we go. I say it, you say it. Shred. Pause the video so you can tap and write shred. Press play when you are ready to continue. Wonderful. You should have written shred. It's important to shred paper with personal information so no one can read it. Can you underline the digraph blend? Great work. The digraph blend is SH and R. Here's your next word. I say it, you say it. Stamps. Think about the base word and suffix in this word. Pause the video so you can tap and write stamps. Press play when you are ready to continue. Nice job. You should have written stamp. My uncle likes to collect stamps from all over the world. Can you underline the base word and circle the suffix? Fantastic. The base word is stamp and the suffix is s. Here's our last word. I say it, you say it. Trust. Pause the video so you can tap and write trust. Press play when you're ready to continue. Great. You should have written t r a s t. You have to trust someone to catch you when you fall. This one was tricky because when T and R are in a blend together, they can sound a little like CH. Can you underline the blends in this word like I did? Wonderful. Remember, the blends are T and R and S and T. For our last activity today, we're going to write a sentence together. We're going to repeat the sentence two times. I say it, you say it. The skunk drank from the pan. One more time. The skunk drank from the pan. Now, pause the video so you can write the sentence. Think carefully about what kind of letter you need at the beginning of the sentence. Press play when you are ready to continue. Wonderful work. Here's what you should have had. The skunk drank from the pan. Don't forget that capital letter at the beginning of your sentence and, of course, the period at the end of your sentence. If you need to correct any of the words in your sentence, go ahead and pause the video again so you can fix any mistakes. Press play when you are ready to continue. Now I'm wondering if you can find the three glued sounds in this sentence. When you find them, I want you to draw a box around the glued sound. Pause the video and then press play and I will reveal where they are. Great job! The glued sounds in this sentence are unk in skunk, ank in drank, and an in pan. Awesome work today, first graders! If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, feel free to email me at lauren.gerald at k12.dc.gov. I'll see you next time for more Foundations Review videos. We miss you. Bye-bye.